right guys we didn't bring our microphone so um, <clears throat> we're gonna have to do a voiceover on this video but uh, I made some adjustments to the settings on the Zod Dart so we are going to test that out and then we are going to test out the uh, Darwin Baby A Pro so let's get this while the weather is Okay guys, we got the Zod Dart, <coughs> we got satellites. We took off the camera mount and uh, we gave it more aileron. I think we left the elevator the same, we gave it more aileron. So we're gonna get this thing in the air. It's perfect right now, it's sunny with like no wind. So I'm gonna walk over here to the field and get this thing launched. So look how easy it is to launch this now, now that we modified it. So it literally can cruise at 20% throttle. I will have to say that uh, giving it a little bit more throws on the aileron has really made this enjoyable. I mean, it's even more enjoyable now that you have more locked in turns. Apologize for all the background noise guys. It's early in the morning, so it's a bit wild Definitely gets the heart pumping every time you go full throttle on this one So after that high speed run, I did a straight vertical and then I banked it back around and went zero throttle for about 15 to 20 seconds and it was actually gliding. So we do have our glide back. I don't know if it was because we took the uh, camera mount off. Now we're back on a throttle about 30% and just cruising it. I like flying here, but I'm not sure this is the park to do morning flights at because it's so noisy.
I know y'all seen how fast that zip passed. <laughs> I would say the Zod Dart is more of a worthy airframe when you add a better power system to it. Right, guys you seen it this thing is an absolute rocket on 6s a joy to fly uh, 2306 motor 1400 kV there's no wind today so there was no shakiness this thing flew dialed like locked in like a jet so if you like jets um, this yeah I would say if you like jets, then you'll like this. To me, it reminds me of flying my EDF jet, kind of that locked in. Uh, your turns are kind of wide. You let off the let off the throttle, get your sharp turn, and then come back on the throttle. If you stay on the throttle, your turns are going to be really wide because of the power. So that's the one thing to get used to on this: is you have to back off the throttle if you want to bank it in more but other than that having the fins out um same as the f-18 in my opinion uh, or the adam rc dolphin i mean every plane you see they have the fins out so i don't i've i don't think i've ever flown them with the fins for, uh, pointing inwards so i can't tell you how that flies these are glued on they're not removable I glued the fins on and uh, I'm very happy with this I mean it's it's definitely ready for FPV so we'll figure out how we're gonna do it either we're gonna do analog or we're gonna do digital I mean I would love to do digital but let me show you this battery compartment as you can see if we did digital we'd have to stick the which we could we could stick the VTX there and stick the camera up here on the, out of this hole we could have the camera on the servo that would be sick 
So we could do digital that way, but there's no way we're getting digital in the nose because the battery has to go right here. And as you can see, this is this battery takes up the whole nose area. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, man. This is this is a, a win.